All right, I'm testing out YouTube's record direct from your webcam feature and see how well I do on essentially what's live TV to me. Um, I was at the U of R this evening to take in a talk by a banker from uh, Scotia McLeod, um, Shane Jones was his name, and I wanted to see if he'd have any insights into what we can do to um, invest in the future and maybe turn the uh, country around a bit so that we don't end up in a recession like Europe is predicted to go into. And his uh, talk basically confirmed what most people are thinking and says that Greece is going to default on its um, what it owes its people and other other countries and that means that there'll be a, uh, a European recession probably. Um, in Canada we're pretty off, well off because we've got uh, lots of resources but what he was uh, saying about the um, job creation strategies that were uh, undertaking like the Keystone Pipeline which is a method to create a lot of jobs for people in Alberta and people in construction along the way down to Texas and then refining jobs there but the big problem with that is that it's not that we can't do that, we have the technological means and the workforce to do it, but should we be building a pipeline that then leads us and encourages us to extract more oil out of tar sands and uh, doing so pollute our climate a lot more. And the scientific uh, findings show that if we do that sort of thing we're going to create an atmosphere that is um, concentrated of more than 450 parts per million of carbon dioxide and that's the tipping point uh, figured out uh, to essentially lead to a climate that uh, will no longer sustain human life in the way that we're used to and uh, many animals, many people, many plants will die uh, the oceans will change significantly so we want to stop that obviously but why would an economist decide then that the solution to the country's problems is to create a problem that is uh, disastrous for the world? And the reason is that economists and bankers don't have to account for real-world uh, problems like um, finite resources. They think that because things have always worked a certain way in the past in economics, that they'll always work that way in the future but that's not how renewable resources and non-renewable resources work. So you can't, uh, you can't leave people who are very good at a certain task like uh, creating jobs in this particular field to create them willy-nilly without any overall overarching purpose in that job creation. Otherwise you could very well be working against everybody else simply by creating some jobs that appear to be helping the economy in one sector. So this is uh, the problem of our time. How do we change people's opinions about climate change so that they don't um, any longer focus on the job creation aspect in oil sands and tar sands or instead focus them on green jobs where we're building infrastructure banks are loaning money to companies that are trying to rebuild our economy in more efficient ways, uh, how do we encourage that? 